Am I wrong? Um, do you still have the luxury of a, a fully fit squad? Unfortunately, no. Well, because uh, we have some problems during the week with Sami Nasri. He has a, a calf injury, so he will not be fit for the next for the next game. All the rest of the team, yes, is is fit. You've added to the squad with uh, Wilfried Bonny. Um, are there likely to be any more incomings before the end of the window? Well, we'll see. We are not uh, we are not uh, thinking in that in this moment. But uh, as I always said. The traffic window is till the end of January, and we'll see what happens in the future. But if you ask me at this moment, I think that we have the, the squad for the next of the season. Do you feel uh, as if Stefan Jovetic still has a future here at Manchester City? Yes, of course, he has a future here. But Stefan is a very important player for us. That uh, Bonnie arrives now in the window of transfer it was a decision that we take after we. We sold Alvaro Negredo, he's replacing Alvaro Negredo here. The squad was with Alvaro, and we, we saw, if we sold him, it was because he has a personal problem that he want, didn't want to continue here. But uh, Bonnie is just replacing Alvaro, he's not replacing uh, Stefan Jovetti. Um, Yaya Torre, of course, is away on international duty. He's been asked in an interview whether he'll be here next season. He simply said, we'll see, which sounds a little bit vague. Would you have hoped he might have been a bit more committed or might have sounded a bit more committed? I think that uh, Yaya is 100% committed with our team, uh, with this club, so I don't have any doubt about that. Arsenal, this time around, uh, a <coughs> game that everybody will get very excited about. Do you expect it to have a major bearing on, on the way the title race will go? I think it's a very important game uh, because uh, Arsenal is a, is a strong team. I always say that uh, maybe they are not in at the top of the table in this moment, but they always have a high target for every season. So I hope that we will do a very good game and uh, add three more points. But I repeat once again, in, in general, are important games, but not this. And how impressed have you been with the start that Sanchez has had with Arsenal? And how much are you looking forward to maybe seeing him and Aguero on the same pitch <coughs> at the same time? Well, I think that uh, Alexis uh, is a very good player and he's doing a very good season now in, in England. It's, be, it's not easy for a, for a player to, in his first, in his first year season here, and score so many goals. That, and Alexis is repeating what he did in the last two years in Barcelona. He's improving every day, so I'm very happy for him because he's a young player and he's a very enthusiastic player and a very good player, so he's improving every day and that's very important, I think, for, for him. I don't want to compare with, uh, with Sergio. Are you ex excited to see the pair of them at the same time? I think that the fans will be excited for, for, for see both teams, that be, because both teams are very attractive football. In that attractive football, they have very good players, so we hope that we are going to see a very good match. Obviously, Manuel, you're from the same country as Alexis Sanchez. What's been the reaction? back in Chile to the start that he's made in the Premier League? Well, I think that uh, what he deserves, because it's not the first year from Alex here in, in Europe. Uh, Alexis has uh, eight, nine years here. <coughs> he was uh, very young, in, first in Italy, after that he returned in loan from in South America, but uh, I think that he played really well in Barcelona the last, the last three, two years, and now in, in England. So. Uh, that's why I think everyone, or the fan, the football fans in Chile, are very happy for him and for, for the country. And for you as well, obviously, you will have known about Alexis for a long time. Has there ever come a point where you've considered trying to sign him? It was not easy because it was, it was a very expensive player in that moment. Uh, in the in the moment that uh, Barcelona sold him to Arsenal, we were not. Uh, uh, searching for one striker because we had uh, in that moment uh, Joe Aguero, Negredo, and uh, Anseco. But I'm sure that uh, Alexis can play everywhere. Everywhere. Going back to Sergio Aguero, how fit is he? Is he fit enough and able to start against Arsenal? Do you feel now? Yes, he's, he's working uh, with the the squad every day, so he's, he he doesn't have any problem. We we'll see if he starts, uh, but uh, in this moment he's 100% fit. The points that you dropped against Everton meant you're now two points behind Chelsea. Obviously, there's a lot of the season to go, but just 17 games. Does that make it important now to try and focus on not dropping any more points? 
Well, I don't know if we dropped two points or we won one point. Huh? It's difficult in this moment to 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 know uh, about, about that. Last year we draw here against Sunderland and it was a very important point to want to win the title. So I think that we have to to play 17 games more, 51 points. I think that 51 and 47 and 98, I think that we can drop points also and, and win the title. I am sure that all the team will drop points now from the end of the year. As less as you drop, better is for, for our team. But I think it's important to try to recover the, the top of the table in these months. In terms of goals scored this season, only Chelsea and yourselves have scored more than Arsenal. Just how dangerous <coughs> do you think their attack is? Sorry? In the, in the Premier yes. League this season, only Manchester City and Chelsea have scored more goals mm -hmm. than Arsenal. Just how dangerous do you think their attack is? Well, it's very dangerous because I just said that they always play an, an attractive football, an offensive football. They have very technical players, so they are, it's not just this year. Arsenal always play uh, trying to score goals, so I, we must work very hard in defending, but uh, we also are a scoring team, so it's not easy for them just to attack and not be careful about where their defence. So I, I repeat, I hope that for the fans we will see a very good game. Just two quick questions from me, Manuel. The first is about Arsene Wenger. This season he's found some of his own fans turning on him. Can you just talk about the job he's done at Arsenal and the job he's doing at Arsenal and your thoughts on that? Well, maybe I'm not the right person to talk about the, the work that Arsene did, had done in, in Arsenal so, so many years. But uh, I think that uh, it's very difficult for all of us that we work in this profession as a manager to stay 17 or 18 years as Arsene has to do in, in Arsenal. So that's say all about his work in Arsenal. And last one, James Milner, any closer on his contract yet? Not for the moment, but I repeat, I hope that in a few days he will arrange. <coughs> I know you don't want to name your team at this stage for Sunday's game and you didn't answer the question on Aguero as whether he'd start. But Vincent Company and Edin Dzeko, are they both in a position where they could start should you select them? Uh, we'll see tomorrow the squad list because uh, I think that Vincent is 100% uh, fit. He will be okay without problem. We have some doubts about Edin, but but he can be. So I can say today we we must wait for tomorrow to see what the doctor said, what the player said, and and then we will decide. Oh, well, you mentioned Sami Nazri is injured. How, how long do you expect him to be out for? I think that uh, well, I'm not the doctor, so it's really difficult for me to say how many. But I think around three weeks a month. Yeah. That before that is is difficult. Okay, uh, so, um, Matija Stasic has left the club on loan this week. Um, why couldn't he uh, get an opportunity here this season? Matija Stasic. Yeah. Well, because at the beginning of the season when we bought uh, Mangala, we had uh, three important uh, central back with Vincent Company, Martin de Michelis and Mangala. The fourth was uh, Boyata, so Matias know at the beginning of the season that it was better for him that he's a young player to go to play in another, in another team. For different reasons, he couldn't do it at the beginning of the season, so he worked with here with, with us with any problem with the squad but it was better for him to go and, and play. Yeah. It's very difficult to have five central backs in the team. Is there any way back for him at this club now, or do you think he'll, he'll move on at the end of the season? For the moment, I repeat, I think that we have the four central backs that we need in, the, in our squad, but I didn't have any problem with Matia. He has, he's welcome here if he can, he can back. back uh, I, but I think that that for the that he's just 25 years old, 22 years old, he needs to play more in this in this club. In this moment, it's difficult. Last season, Manuel, it was six three. It was a very <coughs> memorable game. Do you expect a, a similar kind of game, kind of occasion this time around? Well, it's difficult to score six and three goals for each team again. Eh? But uh, as I just said, I repeat, I, I think that. For, for fans, will be a very attractive game. I hope that uh, we can score the same amount of goals and Arsenal have more problems to score three goals. Do you think you're better at scoring goals with the players you have now at this team this season? Are you stronger now? It's 
Well, uh, it's difficult to compare one season with the other one. Last season, we scored more goals than this season, but we have very important uh, score here, especially here in Etihad against big team that is not easy to repeat it. So I think that in both years, our team is uh, not easy to to score goals, but we are always trying to do it. That's very important, and especially in this season, I think there's more merit because we have the last month we had no strikers and we continue scoring three or two goals every game that we that we play. So last season maybe was more easy, but this uh, this season we are more strong as a squad. And you have the four strikers now. So does that give you a slight edge now? Do you feel in the title race? I think it was important to replace Alvaro Negre. Repeat uh, that when we saw we we. We said that we are going to have the decision in December. After seeing this four months, September, October, November, and December, we have too many injuries, so it's important to have the, the fourth striker. And, and after that, uh, when you have the squad, it depends just on the performance of, the, of all of them. And just finally, Wilfred Bonny, when, when you get him, when he's here, and when he's competing with the other strikers, what are the, the qualities that he'll have, maybe different from Aguero, Dzeko, and Jovetic? What is it that he'll have special? I think that uh, that Bonis is similar to Alvaro Negreo. He's a strong team that he supports very well the ball, and in the way that we play, it's important to have that support so we can arrive from 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 midfield from the second from the second line. He's also an important striker inside the box, same as Alvaro. So I think it's more similar than then that uh, that Edin uh, Kuno or Jordi.